नमो महापदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तवैवास्मी तवैवास्मी नजिमामी तया बिना इति बिग्या राधे अन्य माम शिक्षा गुरु ओम विष्णु दंडक प्रणाम इन Now we should come. What we are going to explain, Raya Ramana. Where it took place on the bank of very sacred river Godavari in South India. So next evening. महाप्रभु इज द एंडलेस ओशन ऑफ लव एंड अफेक्शन एंड एस्पेशली एट दैट टाइम because he has taken in principle mode madanakha bhav also in him so he was like a ocean of this subject but rana mananda like a cloud ocean is what shanti and he clouds are in the form of evaporation of that water very cold smooth way and when she she meet with any forest or favorable to to melt or the melt and drops shower coming and then ocean again becomes a ratnakara of full of jewels so like chaitanya mahaprabhu ocean of love and affection and taking water of swati nakshatra swati constellation and now he is visualizing everything and then he is now ratnakar oh so good so high class of siddhant of love and affection coming from if there was no dialogue between them oh we could not have known all these things so we are going to explain more one thing i want to clear you chaitanya mahaprabhu hearing sarva dharma an parityajya mam ekam sharanam kriya am tvam sarva papa brahma shesha He told that all oh, go on. This is external. What means? All the instructions of Gita are not like that external. Don't think. Because after this is look, he gave a praman of Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. Here is the subject 
लौकिक धर्म वर्ल्डली रिलीजन विच आर कॉल्ड रिलीजन बट दे आर नॉट रिलीजन नथिंग दे आर नॉट कनेक्टेड विथ सोल रिलीजन सो ही रिफ्यूज रिफ्यूज मीन्स ही टोल्ड एक्सटर्नल बट आफ्टर दिस श्लोक ब्रह्मभूता प्रसन्न आत्मा अगेन इट मे कम वो वाट मनमना भाव मद भक्त मद्यादि मां नमस्कुरु मां मे एव सत्यम ते प्रीति जानु प्रियोसि मे ओ दिस इज द एब्स्ट्रैक्ट एंड एसेंस ऑफ द होल गीता फॉर दिस महाप्रभु नेवर टोल्ड दैट ओ दिस इज आल्सो एक्सटर्नल दिस इज द मोड ऑफ द गोपीस मनमना भाव सो वी शुड नॉट थिंक दैट ओ ऑल आर एक्सटर्नल Our whole Gita is external, not in this world. So, when he told that, why he told Sarva Dharma Anupatyajya? Oh, there is no symptom of oh, our tran- transcendental, constitutional, any religion, any mood. So he, or oh, told it is. And then Prabhu कहे यो बाज्य यो आगे कहा राय कहे ज्ञान मिशा भक्ति सर्वसाप सिद्ध साप यू शुड नो दैट देर आर थ्री स्टेजेस ऑफ भक्ति आरोपा भक्ति संसिद्धा भक्ति एंड स्वरूप सिद्धा भक्ति श्रवणम कीर्तनम विष्णु स्मरणम पाव सेवन और साधु संग नाम कीर्तन भागवत सेवन दीज आर स्वरूप सिद्धा भक्ति नाउ Where there is no sarupshidha bhakti, hmm? there is no symptom of sarupshidha bhakti. Hmm? But even anyone can think that, oh, I have bhakti, hmm? and in karma or in gyan he is doing aro, superimposing, imposing that this is bhakti. Hmm? Then it is called aro shidha bhakti. Really not bhakti. जोषी जदर्शनाशी जज्जुहोषी दीज आर लाइक कर्मा बट ए फ्रूट इज गिवेन टू कृष्णा और एनी वन इट मे बी सम वट रिलेटेड विथ भक्ति देन दे मे बी कॉल्ड आर सिद्धा भक्ति अदरवाइज नॉट अदरवाइज ओ दे आर कर्म Where karma is prominent and bhakti is subordinate, or these are karma. In Gita, it has been not told for that karma. Where bhakti is prominent, karma is like a subordinate. Oh, bhakti pradhan, oh karma. Pradhani bhuta. Pradhani bhuta. Oh, this is called here arupsita. Hmm? Otherwise, oh, Gita has not told for that oh, or general karmas. Hmm? So it may be like two or three, four, five kinds of karma, gyan, yog, and others. Hmm? In this last uh, bhakti, what? Arupsita. अरुप सिद्धा भक्ति कर्म प्रधान भक्ति प्रधान कर्म ज्ञान प्रधान कर भक्ति लाइक दिस अंडरस्टैंड नो वेरी डिफिकल्ट व्हाट इज अरुप सिद्धा यस सुन एंड दे आर डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री एस्पेशली कर्म ज्ञान भक्ति तो कर्म ज्ञान जो मुगान किरण नसा ज्ञान अंदर असला कया चक्षुर अंदर तंजे ना धस्वाय सी करवे नमः इफ यू वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ आरोप सिद्ध भक्ति संग सिद्ध भक्ति एंड 
Sarup Siddha Bhakti, first of all, we have to know what is Sarup Siddha Bhakti first. Sarup Siddha Bhakti refers to those activities which in and of themselves are composed entirely of the angas of bhakti, such as Sarvanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Parasevanam, Achanam, Varanam, Dasam, Sakam, Atmani, or 64 angas of bhakti, beginning with Guru Parishraya, Diksha, Guru Rasevam, Sadhama, Pritya, Shiksha, Sadhu, Maganu, Gaman. Hmm? Otherwise, five prominent forms of bhakti, Sadhu, Sangha, Nama, Kirtan, Bhagavad, Charan, Natura, Vasa, Sri Matira, Sadhya, Sevan. So, when the activity itself is composed entirely of the angas of bhakti, this is called Sarup Siddha Bhakti. Now, a person may do other things which are not included within the angas of bhakti, but because he thinks he has a mood that I am doing this for Krishna, therefore he calls this activity bhakti. Actually, the activity is not bhakti, but he is superimposing the name bhakti onto that activity. This is called an ekatabhav. Have making one thing and saying that it is something else. Hmm? Yes. Like them to be equal. Example? Example, one person, he's farming. Hmm? So among the Angas of Bhakti, farming has not been mentioned. Sharanam, Ketanam, Vishnu Sparanam, farming, Archanam, not that. Huh? No. And like a man, any devotee started a school. Hmm? Or to start a school is karma. But in that school, we will teach bhakti. Then it may be connected and that can be taught. Otherwise, no. Cow sheds. Hmm? Cow sheds? Ah, <laughs> like a plantaining of garden. That some fruit will come and we will give to Krishna. So these are oh, examples. These are examples of Arupasiddha Bhakti. The activity itself is not among Angas of Bhakti, but because we are offering the result to Krishna and we call it Bhakti, it's called Arupasiddha Bhakti. So, this Arupasiddha Bhakti, it may be, uh, have a predominance of Gyan, otherwise it may have predominance of Karma or predominance of Yoga. So, when the, there is a predominance of the Karma, and one is trying to do bhakti, then this is called the karma padan padani bhuta bhakti. Karma padan padani bhuta bhakti. And Srila Gurudev was saying, conversely, if one is doing some karma, but there's a predominance of bhakti in his activity, then it's called bhakti padani bhuta karma. Huh? Is it clear now? Yes. Thank you. Then Ra told Gyan Mishraya Bhakti. Hmm? We have explained something. What is Gyan Pradana? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakanchati Samasarvesh Bhuteshi Mat Bhaktim Lavati. Krishna Bhajan Prabhu, he can explain. No, you. Om Shanti Maranda Shyaki Ramana Shlaka Tuksu Ramana Tom Jane was my Sri Gurvenwa. So in this, in this uh, sequence of questions and answers, actually Sarva Sadya Sar is repeated time and time again. All perfection, Sar essence. So what we're trying to arrive at, or where Lord Chaitanya is leading us, and Lord Mananda Roy is helping us to arrive at, is Bhakti Sar the essence of devotion. <laughs> so, we're still not there yet. So, in this verse, Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma, uh, Krishna is saying, uh, the one who has attained this level of Brahma Bhuta, or Brahman realization, uh, he's very happy. And so, Chitina he neither laments nor hankers for anything. Uh, Sarvas Samak Sarveshu Bhuteshu. He sees all living entities equally as parts and parcels of the Supreme. And Mud Bhakti He sees all living entities equally as parts and parcels of the Absolute. Never, never. 
Go on, but mm, something wrong. We'll clarify that. Mad Bhaktim Labate Param. Try to control. Tom. Go on. Mad Bhaktim Labate Param. And oh, after finishing Brahma Bhuta, Prasannatma, oh, then Para Bhakti may come and then he will think that all are part and parcel of <laughs> Otherwise, no. But you are telling in this stage, so it is wrong. You will see all Jeevas, everyone is Brahma, Savam, Kavidam, Brahma. Yes, that is. Wrong. And when you come in good association, by influence of association, the, yeah, so that's what's missing in this verse. Like Madhu Maharaj, yes, your son, they will come. So, so you have your you explain this one. <laughs> yeah. Don't be wrong. <laughs> that is why he told that I don't know. Very clever. But now I will never forget this lesson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on. In the stage of Brahma, Buddha, Press, and Atma. Why you become late? I will chastise you. <laughs> you are becoming late again? That I will tell that you should be out of room. No, don't be late. I want that all the devotees should come before me here. They should be present. Then I will be here. Hmm. Oh. In the stage of Brahma, Buddha, Prasanatma, the uh, aspiring spiritualist understands... Uh, what, what, what you told? He's aspiring to be a... From beginning. In the stage of Brahma, Buddha, Prasanatma... No. Brahma, Buddha, money this stage. Then he became happy, Prasanna. Otherwise not. I thought we were discussing the verse, Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma Nasojitina Kamsati. First tell Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta is the understanding that the living entities are not distinguished on the basis of the body, but everyone is spirit. There is a defect or an imperfection in the person who is on the stage of Brahma Bhuta in the sense that he does not realize that the living entities are part and partial of the Supreme Brahman? No. That, that I don't want. Oh, you should explain this meaning of this issue. When a person transcends the bodily platform and comes to understand that he's spirit, then he's free okay, from... Okay. Then he becomes free from the... Uh, desires and anxieties of the body Why? and he becomes equal Why? because he's not identifying with the body oh, at that time he thinks that I'm not this body and he thinks that I should not do any worldly desire even not any anything else from this world any desire I don't want because Atma and Paramatma are same, or Bhagavan are same, and we are Brahma. If we are Brahma, then why any desire? No desire at all. And if no desire, then he will be happy. And then, no uh, sochati, he don't want anything, worldly thing. Never, no desire of worldly, anything. Hmm? And no kamshati. And if anything is the, with them and it goes away, oh, never sochati. Never lament. Never lament. Hmm? Because they think that I am Brahma, no deed of all things. Hmm? Sama sarva is bhuteshu. Sama, because all are Brahma. No difference. Samaha, automatically. Oh, this cow, elephant, trees, creepers, all are Brahma. So all are like equal. Huh? 
if they are like so, but not offending any devotees are Srimad Bhagavatam. And they come in the association of high class of Vaishnava. And by their association, they may be changed. Because they, are, they have not done any offense. And that is why, you know, Sankan purify their hearts. And then he will have bhakti, and after that he will have para bhakti. Like this. Like Vaishnavdas Babaji from Baranishi. He was very learned person and he has up to came up to Hmm? What? First, Hansa, Paramahansa, crossed. And now, oh, he was thinking, I am Brahma, I am Brahma, I am Brahma. <laughs> like this. But when he saw a devotee rolling down on the earth, weeping bitterly, oh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. At once a flashing light like a mood came. And he became extra, uh, extraordinarily happy. For a moment, by seeing how he is happy and rolling down. In what a state? Evang Pratastrapriya Namakritya Anurago Dejasitta Ujjayi Asapta Thoro Dati Rauti Gayata Unumar Dati Oh, sometimes playing with Krishna, very happy. Sometimes some separation and he is rolling down. Oh Krishna, where? Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, where is my Krishna? Where is my Krishna? Rolling down. Hmm? This is the stage of, of Mahabharata. So, if in, he saw that Vaishnavas, at that time he was Mayabhadi. And for a moment, like flashing, oh, it came. Oh, how happy is he that for a moment I realized, realized that association. And for searching, he came to Vrindavan and went to Navadip and he had this song of Babaji Mahara. So Gurudev, until he gets that association, he can't have prasanatma then. When he's just Brahma Bhuta, when he realizes that the soul is He's Brahma telling a man from beginning if he's not Brahma Bhuta, no prasanatma. But he, from beginning, he was karmi, and from karmi he became oh, tattva jnani, not karmi. Oh, he can have this mood without going to that issue. It is not uh, uh, necessary that he should come in this stage. Before that, oh, he was like Bilva Mangal, attached to that lady, very bad thing. Lust was there, anath were there, but he has not offended anybody. So, if anyone in that stage will have association, Oh, before this stage comes, or oh, from there he can go. What stages here have been explained? From any stage anyone can go to that by association. Higher system. He can have a greed for Sarp, Krishna like gopis. But a Mayavadi Brahma Buddha cannot have any presence. Or oh, they can have if they have not offended anyone. Isn't it that Mayavadi is that they make offense to bhakti because they're thinking... That, that I told, uh, that I'm telling, Brahma. that maybe Mayavadi no harm, that aham brahmasmi. Uh. Hmm? Aham brahmasmi. In any way we are like aham brahmasmi. Hmm? Aham brahmasmi, it is all right. Tattamasi, yeah. it is all right. Hmm? This is not fault. Oh, if they have not offended any Vaishnava, Gita, Bhagavat and all epics and Vaishnava. Oh, from that stage 
or if they are hearing Srimad Bhagavatam by any high class of Vaishnava in their association, they may be give up all these things and very soon, very soon, because their heart is not attached with worldly things, so very soon they will have parabhakti. Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur has given an example. There was a heap of oh, mustard oil seed, like yellow, a oh, very heap, and a gold, uh, a round particle. particle, or yellow also there, or same like, form like yellow oil, oil seed. Oh, it was mixed, but only one that was. <coughs> if there is a fire in that heap of um, that mustard oil seed, oh, very soon all will burn. But that gold, oh, it will remain. And if air comes, wind comes, all will, and only that will be glittering <coughs> gold. So if anyone has not done any offense in the Lord's feet of Bhakti Devi or Gita Bhagavat Raman Puran and not offended any Vaishnava in any way, not criticized, that then Mayavadi that if he will associate and serve any high class of devotee, like Sarvam in the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like Prakashananda Saraswati, or uh, in the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like so many in the association of Rupa and Sanatana. So it is so. We should try to understand that. Sanyasi Thakur told Babaji Maharaj that I'm not happy thinking that Aham Brahmasmi. So okay. I was not happy. Yeah. So prasanatma doesn't come until one gets that good association then. Oh, I could not. When someone is Brahma Bhuta, then being Brahma Bhuta, then are they prasana, uh, can they be referred to as prasanatma? No, she said no prasanatma. Yes. Before if any is Brahma Bhuta, means there are six symptoms for that Brahma Bhuta. Janma, Maran, Astitva, for anything he is not lamenting, and worldly any desire he has not. All are Brahma, myself is Brahma. That person can be happy. Otherwise, no. If a person like this, and he is a, he anyhow, he is fortunate to have a good association of Bhakta, then Parabhakti may come creature. This is this. She's saying Sanyasi Thakur was not Prasanatma. Oh, before he was. Because he never wanted any worldly desire. He was Prasanatma, Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu, Na Sochati, Na Kamchati. He was. He was in state of Paramahamsa. He had no comparison. Yes. When he saw Vaishnava, then there was comparison, then he thought, I'm really not happy. Yes, a comparison. Oh, I was thinking that I'm happy now, but I think that our, that stage was my wrong thing. Then Prabhu kahe, Iho Bhajya. Mahaprabhu told you what has been told in Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasadnatma. Why? It is external because bhakti was not there, para bhakti will come. So it is external. What I told? What I told Prabhu? Uh, so if you go higher than this, um, what you have said is external because there's no devotional service to Krishna and God yet on the personal level of realization. No. On the stage Sit down, of, easy. On the stage of Brahma Bhuta or this Gyanamishra Bhakti, there is no uh, Bhakti, directly Bhakti, or mm. it's, it's covered by Gyan. Therefore, 
It is uh, external. Can you? What are you told? You are not here? Fine. Huh? About Brahm, Brahma Buddha Prasanna. Why Mahaprabhu told it? External. Because it, he, there is no bhakti there. This is oh, something bhakti was there. Yeah. Not it's pure bhakti. Parabhakti was not pure bhakti. Without sadhu sangha, this verse cannot be completed. We cannot get parabhakti until he yeah. comes. So because that's still left out, we have to go further. Yeah. We're not complete yet. And there is no really pure bhakti. The burning of the mangda, the burning of the mangda, of the mustasi. What is that? Oh, here is that uh, um, that Brahma Bhuta was that state of Brahma Bhuta. The mustasi are burned. Like karma and gyan and job and all. This is all mustasi. They will. And what is what is burning it? Sadhusanga. I thought Sadhusanga was the breeze. That's the same thing. Or both. both. Burn or breeze. Where that is burning or oh. oh. automatically comes. Oh. Automatically. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Can we say that this is Brahma Bhutra is external? Because you're mentioning how. There's no necessary necessity that you have to go through this stage. Yes. From karma you can go to bhakti, from the yoga you can go to bhakti. Or tapasya you can go. Uh -huh. Or from, uh, if you are um, lusty, you are so much having, de uh, desiring, akama, moksha kama, udharati. This is a oh, praman for that. In, from any state, by sadhu sang, anyone can go to higher states. So no need for mukti first and then bhakti. No. Or oh, mukti bhakti. will come first automatically. No need of doing anything, effort for that. <coughs> then, <coughs> oh, Mahaprabhu told that you should go on. Hmm? You by you. Then he told, jnana sunna, Bhakti. He had told bhakti mixed with gyan. First he told bhakti mixed with karma. And Mahaprabhu told them both external. Then he told him, Oh, jnana sunya bhakti is sadha sad. What is that? Gyan Sunya bhakti is not sadhya. It is a process. But what is sadhya? We will have to think. Understand? Samaj Raya? Oh, this is this is a process. Gyan Sunya Bhakti. Anya Vilasita Sunyam Lai. Oh, this is not sadhya. This is process. But what is sadhya here? What is that? Hmm? Oh, that is like prema bhakti. It may be. Shadhyasa. By this bhakti, jnana sunya bhakti, we can attain pure bhakti. This is the And what is that pure bhakti? Anya Vilasita Sunyam, Jnana Karma Adi Anabhutam, Anupulena. But first stage stays, not higher stays. Hmm? <coughs> By this bhakti, we can attain, oh, like Parbhyam Bhakti, Vaikuntha Gatpreem, Sarvish of Narayan. This is the highest thing that we can attend by that. Then, oh, he is giving example. Jnani prayasa madhupasya namanta eva jivanti sanmukharitam bhavadi yavartam thani sthita sutigatam tanumang manorvi 
ये प्रायसो अजित जी तो अभी I know that you are not perfect. I know, but you still try. Try to don't try uh, fear that I will ride on horse and I will fall down. It may be that you are fell, fell down. You are not expert. So this verse, Gyan Prayasam Udapasya Namante Eva Jibanti San Mukaritam Babati Eva Stane Sita Shuti Katam Tan Ban Mano Bir Ye Prayaso That one should give up this speculative knowledge. So, previously Gurudev has explained that you have um, the highest, the Sajya that one can achieve the sadhya that one can achieve is to um, achieve Vaikuntha. So, it's explained that there are three goals that one may achieve Tat Paratha Gyan, where one realizes the um, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Tvam Paratha Gyan, uh, where one realizes that one is an insignificant um, servant of the Supreme Lord. And the other, which is rejected, is merging into the Supreme Lord. So, here, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is saying that, oh, go further, but something is okay here. What is okay? Stanesita Shuti Gatam Tanban Manogir. That at this point, the devotee is having the opportunity to do Sadhu Sangha. And by this Sadhu Sangha, then Bhakti will come. It stated, Bhaktis to Bhagavad Bhakta Sangena Parijayate, Sat Sangha Prapitaya Pumbir Sukriti Puvisanchatai. That how Bhakti will come? Bhakti will come by Sadhu Sangha. So at this point, one is starting to enter into the realm of Shuddha Bhakti by having Sadhu Sangha. So for this reason, then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's starting to accept this as not being external because by Sadhu Sangha, and only by Sadhu Sangha really one can enter into Bhakti. What not? This verse comes from Lord Brahma's statements to Krishna in his prayers from the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Here Lord Brahma is stating that one should give up the hard endeavor of gyan and hear from the pure devotees about the Supreme Lord. But there are two types of gyan. One type of gyan is practiced by a gyani, as Srila Gurudev was explaining before. Sarvam kalvidam brahma aham brahmasmi. I am that supreme. I, I am the whole brahma. So that gyan has to be rejected. But there's another type of gyan, and there's another type of gyani, and that is a gyani bhakta. The gyani bhakta is not uh, an offender like the mayavadi, who thinks that he's God, but he believes that, he believes in the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bhishma is a gyani bhakta. He believes in Dwarkadish as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Prahlad Maharaj believes in Lord Nishringadeva as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So why does Lord Brahma say that one has to give up even this kind of gyan? Because in the heart of a gyani bhakta, he thinks that the Supreme Bhagavan is the cause of all causes, he's the source of innumerable universes, and therefore, because he's everywhere and everything, He's complete, so he never gets hungry or thirsty or tired, and therefore there's no need to serve him or give him water or fan him. So there's a wall between that Jnani Bhakta and Bhagavan himself, either Krishna or Narayan. Prahlad's service to the Lord was cut because of his knowledge of the Lord's opulence. So there's Aishwarya Bhakti as a Jnani Bhakta, 
And then there's Madhurya Bhakti. So Lord Brahma is inviting by his prayer that one should even gradually give up this conception of Krishna is God and should gradually develop greed to follow one of the residents of Goloka Vrindavan who accept Krishna as their son, like Mother Yasoda, who thinks that if I don't feed Krishna, he'll die. So following, by hearing the sweet pastimes, remaining in one's own position and hearing the sweet pastimes of the Lord from a pure devotee and gradually understanding his own particular position as a particular kind of servant, he develops greed to follow one of the inhabitants of Braj. Thank you. You should stand up and tell what she told you. Essence. Shri Shamarani Didi was explaining that there are two kinds of jnanis. One jnani, he, he is thinking, he has the knowledge of I am Brahma. Aham Brahmasmi, and he is wants to. He's thinking everything is one. And then the second time of Gyani, he was. He is thinking like Prahlad Maharaj. He has knowledge that Lord Nishingadev is Bhagavan. So when Lord Nishingadev came, he didn't think, oh, what my Prabhu needs water or he is tired. What can I do to serve him? He is thinking, oh, he's Bhagavan. He doesn't need anything, and he just would offer prayers. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Jnani Prayashrutha Oh, give up. Even a very minute prayash endeavor from Gyan, for Gyan. Give up. Even the Tattva Gyan don't do anything. Knowledge of the established truth. Mm. That I am a part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is Supreme Lord. He lords of Lord, having so much affluence. Don't think and don't do anything. Well, a very many. Don't do. What do? Jivanti Sanmukharitam Bhavadiya Bhattam Namanta Evasthan is theta. Always here. San Mukharitam Bhartha. What Bhartha? Of Krishna. Tattva Gyan and everything will come in that Harikatha. Oh, Krishna is very hungry. And he is coming to Mother Kyashoda. But he has told something to his government, anything. And Jashoda Maya, what did? A big form. Otherwise I will give a slab. Hmm? And then Krishna was weeping, Mother, 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 Mother. I am very hungry. I want some milk, milk. And Jashoda Maya was creating. Don't come. Hmm? I will, oh, I like this, on my lap, I you are very dirty boy and naughty boy. This, very good. and everything is there. It is about Tattva Gyan. Moreover, Krishna, apolizing mode, taking his float and pick up the giving it in the Lord's feet of Radhika, apolizing. Oh, please, must be merciful to me. From today, I am promising I will not do any offense in your Lord's feet. What is there? How high class of? Hmm? Then gopis are telling hmm, that keep your head on the Lord's feet of Radhika and promise and write a Signature, give a signature. I will not do. <laughs> what is this? Oh, high class of this. Bhavadiya Vartam. These are Bhavadiya Vartam. 
What has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam? Hmm? Oh, Gopi Geet, Venu Geet, Bansi, Brahma Geet, Venu Geet, Oh, these are Geet means Bartha. Geet means what is meaning of Geet? Geet means dialogues. So many dialogues. So this is, if anyone hearing all these things, no need of knowing that who am I again. All will come automatically, all kinds of. So, Gan may come. But we are doing here, giving Tattva Gan. But, oh, in Madhur Harikatha. So, all are included in Bhavadiya Vartanti. So, if anyone doing Namaskar to the uh, where Harikatha is going, Sthane, or to Bhakta, speaker, speaker and audience. audience, and who is managing everything, doing pranam to all, and hearing, hmm? oh, Harikatha, like serving. Hmm? Don't hear Harikatha, never. What you do? Harikatha. Don't take prasadam. Eat. Or you should serve prasadam. Don't chant Harinam. You should serve Harinam. All this serving mood should be there. Shrevan Mukho Hi Jivado. Oh, auto automatically everything. Your mood should be that. I should serve Vaishnav. I should serve Mahaprasadam. I should serve Harikatha. I should start chanting Hari name, so all the rest. Then what will be? Sthan is Thita. Though he is our family life, maintaining. He or his three husband. He may be Brahmachari, Ban Prasthi, or he may be renounced order Sannyasi, no harm. Where he is in Western countries, anywhere in New York, or New York, <laughs> or he is in Washington, anywhere, either he is in Africa, or Nigeria, or any place, huh? or India, anywhere, Tanvang Manobhi, he is doing pronoun to all, and hearing Harikatha, this class of all. Huh? Then, what? Prayasho Ajit, he can control Krishna, though he is not controlled anywhere, but he will be controlled. You know, any example of this? Oh, you know Bilva Mangal? Chintamani, he was doing that as well. Yeah. And so many things he had. And Krishna, what do you? Oh, like giving him. And for me, like that. And that class of bhakti very easily will come. Mahaprabhu, oh yes, you told. Mm -hmm. It may be. It may be. He was not satisfied. Mm -hmm. In what mood you told? Kya kata hai? Garraj in? In different mood. He told that it, it is all right. Not right. It is somewhat. What go on? Why he was not satisfied? Oh, Mahaprabhu wanted to hear so many uh, high class of Harikatha. Here, I think no taste. There is no taste. Only Nishtha is there. In this stage of Nishtha, he is hearing all. But really, when? or test will come, no fear at all. We should try to reach in the stage of Ruchi. Oh, it is always fear from Nishta to go down, where there is no Sadhu Sangha. But when Ruchi will come, oh, that class of Bhats are now, what? Nirbhaya. Fearless. Fearless. 
somewhat. Somewhat, not fully. There is fear up till a stage of first stage of rati. And if rati is full, no. Then mochi. So here is telling Jito about Krishna and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Iho hai aage koha aad. Then Rai Bhakti. राय का है प्रीमा भक्ति सर्वशाक दिशा पूरी तरह पाप करे चलें तो नुबांग मनो भी समझे बोल ओके पूरी तरह हम पाप करे चलें ऐ जा तो उखाने तो नुबांग मनो भी समझे मैं व्याख्या करते क्यों बोले चलें ये तो नु दारा प्रणाम बाक बाक के दारा वक्ता स्वता अजात बाबस्ता सब के प्रणाम करे बंद प्रसन्न सा करा but it means or you should speak something that I don't remember all these things. What, where, what I so many things good is explanation I have given here and there. For Indians and high class of devotees in Hindi and Bangla, I can tell so many things. And fluently, but for English, my language is lame. <laughs> so there, I told in Bengali, perhaps or Hindi. So before Kartik in Purushottam Man, Jagannath Puri Sila Guru Dev explained same Ramananda Rai Sangbal. Ah. Then Guru Dev explained there. Ah, Fifteen days I here. Yeah. You are all. Yeah. Hmm. That we have to give up also Tattva again, means Krishna is Supreme Personality Godhead, have to give up all this idea, otherwise you could not advance in Krishna consciousness. So Srila Jeeva Saipath also explained in Bhakti Sandarbha that you have to give up to, to earn so much Tattva again, otherwise you will be derailed from enter to um, Prema Bhakti. So Jeeva Saipath have given some example in Bhakti Sandarbha. After the Guru Dev told, that Bhavadiya mm -hmm. Bhartam, then Guru Dev explained about Tasmin Man Mukharita Madhuvi Charitra. In this circumstance, Guru Dev told that whenever the devotee will explain Krishna Katha, then Krishna will come somehow or other in somehow, some way to hear the Sari Katha. Then Guru Dev gave example like Ter Kadamba, Sriman Srila Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami Padhyat. Discussing each other Krishna Katha. Then even Srimati Radha Thakurani could not check herself. She came in disguise of a village girl and asked them, Oh Baba, you are talking Hari Katha. So you have no time. So my mother has sent some milk and some sugar and rice. Why is she told like that? Because they are discussing about Radha Thakurani and Krishna. They are glorifying Srimati Radha Thakurani. Oh, because she came to hear what they were. Yes, this is the pretend. And, and she was pretend. They may, be, may think that oh, why this village girl has came. Yes. So she is making Pretending. a tree. Yes. Oh, Baba, this ex is her excuse. Hmm. Like this. So this was her excuse. Oh, oh Baba. Very sweet past time I told there. Yeah. <laughs> In English I can. And like Madhavendra Puyapad is chanting Harinam, Krishna could not check himself, he came to give him darshan. And for Villa Mangal also, Radha and Krishna both came there. Krishna told Srimati Radhika, don't advance, otherwise the blind person will catch you. Radhika told, oh, he is, he is blind, how he can touch me? And he said, don't uh, think about this. So who is blinder? Very expert about sound. <laughs> Hearing sound, they can understand blind one, how far you are. In one hand, Krishna is telling Radhika this thing. Other hand, he is inspiring Villa Mangal. Be ready. Radhika is coming nearer to you. Now when Radhika came closer, he said, don't go. You are near, 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 about his reach. Then Villa Mangal is ready. When she came more nearer, then Villa Mangal catch her his lotus feet. Then Krishna told, I told you, don't go further. Now you are suffering. What is the result? 
Then the other, what do you want? Please give me up, give up, give up. But no. What do you want? Please, I want that my eye will come back again. Then they put their lotus hand, then belongs I came out. Then belongs not living yet. What do you want? Please make me make me blind again. Why? Belongs told by which eyes I have seen the beauty of both of you. I don't want to see anything in this world anymore. So make me blind, please. So then, then, then make him blind again. Like this Gurudev told, if you do Tirtha Parjatan, means you are wandering Tirtha here and there, like Kedarnath, Bodhinath, Ganga Sagar, you could not get so much. So what to do? You have to listen to Harikatha. Then Gurudev Asmava, Tonu Bang Manobhi. Tonu means body. By body you have to do pranam to speaker, audiences, and the manager who is managing all these things. And Tonu Bang means by speech. What you will do by speech? What Harikatha you have heard from them? You have to praise them. Oh, this is very good arrangement. Speaker and is very nice. My life has been successful by hearing. My life being successful here in this Harikatha. I never heard such good Harikatha. I never heard so sweet Harikatha. Never get this such good audience. I never meet with such speaker. And Manubhi means by mind. Which Harikatha you have heard from? Guru and Vaishnavas, you have to meditate time to time. Time to all the life. Always have to meditate. Then actually you can enter in Krishna Dil. Guru Dev explained by this in Jagannath Puri. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. First was Gyan Shunya Bhakti. And here Raya Ramananda, Mahaprabhu told, uh, Raya Ramananda told, Prem Bhakti. Oh, there are so much far difference in Jnana Shunya Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. Jnana Shunya Bhakti, it may be that there is no love and affection. Jnana Shunya Bhakti. That is, oh, we have no taste. We have so many far foreign area. And we are worshipping. But heart is not there. Hmm? This is Gyan Shunya. And if love and affection is full there, there is something lacking in your archan even. No. If you are totally stopped your archan even, no. If you are remembering past times of Krishna. Understand? If you are not doing archan, not doing all other things, <coughs> but you are hearing and remembering, hmm? you have stopped what? Archan. On other things. Of bhakti. Oh. So, <coughs> here he is telling of Prema Bhakti Sarva Shabdha What is the meaning? Nanu pachar kita puja nam arta bandho. Prem naiva bhakta hridayam sukha vidyu tamsha. Javat chudhanti jarthare jarthati pasha. Tavat sukhaya bhavato nanu bhakti. Oh, you. Now, see, right on Nanda. He's giving a suggestion to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu about Prema Bhakti. This verse we can find in, it has been compiled in the Padyavali of Srila Rupa Goswami Bhad. He's saying here that Nano Pachara Kita Pujama Arta Bando that the Supreme Personality of Godhead he's called Arta Bando the friend of those who are Arta that means distressed those who feel distressed but this verse specifically is saying Prem Naiva Bhaktaridayam Sukavidyatamsra Shat The devotee who has Prem, Prem Naiva The devotee who has Prem, he is doing Puja, he is worshipping How? Nanopachara Krita Pujaram By many different types of paraphernalia But, he is feeling some distress, what is that distress? 
Oh, Krishna, if you will not accept my offering, oh, then I will die. Hmm? He has love. And he uh, wants that Krishna will accept his offering so much. Now, ordinarily, people will think that Supreme Personality of Godhead is Atmaram and Aptakam. All of his desires are fulfilled. He has no hunger, no thirst. So why would Krishna accept any offering? Hmm? If you are not hungry, then there will be no pleasure in your eating. So similarly, if Supreme Lord is Atmaram self-satisfied, why should he accept anyone's offering? Hmm? So here in this verse, Rai Ramananda is explaining that when the devotee has prayed and he's feeling some distress, Oh Krishna, please accept my offering. Then the love of the devotee causes a hunger and a thirst in Krishna. And therefore, because now Krishna has hunger and thirst, he will come, he will accept that offering in order to pacify the heart of the devotee who is feeling distress. And upon tasting those offerings, even though it seems like ordinary paraphernalia, anyway Krishna is coming and he's tasting that and he relishes and he enjoys happiness in that. Why? Because the preem in the heart of the devotee has created a great hunger in him. So the example is given of Vidurani. When Krishna came to the house of Vidura, then Vidurani, she was in so much ecstasy. She was making bananas and peeling them, throwing the bananas away by accident and giving Krishna the peel. <laughs> then Krishna was take, taking the peel. Now banana peel is not very delicious. Hmm? But for Krishna, this peel was so tasty. He was hungry. Hmm? When he saw the peel, some water was coming on his tongue. Why was this hunger coming in him? Because Vidurani had so much love. Hmm? Vidura wanted to check her. Hey, what are you doing? But Krishna said, shh, don't, don't say anything. Why? Because she will be in pain, thinking that her service is not perfect service. Hmm? So Krishna, he is not eager to taste your different types of paraphernalia. Nano pachara kritabhujanama atabandhu. In uh, Archan, there are 16 types of paraphernalia, such as giving a seat and bathing the feet, giving argya, madhuparka, oils, and many types of...